All right, you guys, welcome back. I have a Dollar Tree haul today. So let's dump everything out. I found these really cute little wooden animals. They look like they're kind of like laser cut. These are gonna be really fun to craft with. I love that polar bear and the penguin. There's like a little dolphin. So these are just beautiful. I also found this vinyl paper. Oh, look at that hologram. It's so rainbowy and just absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna find something to do with this. All right, you have to have a sanding sponge, right? That is an absolute must whenever you're crafting. You need it for a variety of things. Okay, I found this see-through bag that I loved because it actually just says stuff. <laughs> so you can actually put any of your stuff on the inside. I love that. I found some crafting foam sheets, which I really liked this one because it actually has a texture embossed right on it. You kind of see that right there. Kind of interesting to do something with that, with the textures. Some 3D fabric paint. I thought this one would be perfect because it's in a shiny black. Thought that would be useful, especially since Halloween is coming up. You never know what you could use that for. I also found this little Mickey Mouse cake and this actually includes some watercolors. So on the inside, we've got some Mickey Mouse inspired watercolors. And on the other side, we've got some retro Mickey Mouse stickers. Very fun, I'm going to be crafting with those. And on the bottom, there was this little Mickey Mouse. I thought it was a little memo pad, but actually on the inside, it had little Mickey Mouse images. So cute, again, perfect to craft with. I also got a Frozen sticker book. I love the movie. And there's a whole bunch of different types, puffy, glitter, foil, and glossy texture. So you can kind of see them as I'm flipping through the book here. There's the foil ones, glitter. Love this one with Elsa with her horse. I always try to find something Shopkins at the Dollar Tree. So this one actually has some fruity scented stickers. This one might be a double in my collection, but it doesn't matter. I don't care, it's just a dollar. And I love the artwork in it. Look at the little breads. <laughs> Those will be perfect to craft with too. All right, next bag. I'm telling you, I kind of went crazy. Woo! All right, we got a lot in here. Necklace bead tray. You can plan out exactly how you want your necklace to be by placing the beads around it. And it's got these like little cubbies for you also to put in just your extra beads. We got some little foam balls, really nice. Pastel little rainbow colors. Some ice cream cone napkins, deliciously cute. I love finding the model magic because you can always do so much with it and it's like a really puffy kind of clay. I want to try out the Dollar Tree air dry clay. So I've never used it before, so I want to try this out. Not sure if it's going to be that ready color, kind of that terracotta color, but I want to try this. How cute is this? I know back to school is like in full swing at the Dollar Tree, but right now, look at, they have these adorable little mini composition notebooks. You actually get three of them in there and they're just so small. Now this I'm very excited to try. I found some sewing patterns for just $1. So they have a teddy bear and they also have a tote bag that you can make. So I have to try this. So I'm going to be doing a sewing project video too. And then this looked really interesting. It's a cross stitch kit and you can actually stitch the word love over earth. So I will definitely be trying that out. I did not know that the Dollar Tree carried fabric now. So I found the most beautiful fabric. This one has little unicorns on it. It's beautiful. It looks like they're dancing around in the night. Picked up some more tacky glue, some craft clamps that I'm gonna use to hold back my scrapbooks and junk journals with. Look at how lovely these are, these little ribbon trims. I'm definitely gonna be using these also in my journals. Really pretty. I found some tape that actually has like a holographic shine to it. Really pretty. Ooh, uh oh, looks like I found a zebra print ribbon as well. Can't forget that. I found a roller cutter. I was really excited to find these crafting shears. They have all these little decorative blades for whenever you cut them. How perfect is that for scrapbooking? Perfect. And I also found this iridescent hair tie. Really pretty colors. All right, next bag. Mm -hmm. We're still going. I found these unicorn cupcake wraps. You see the little unicorn face right there. I love that it's got like an iridescent holographic horn. I'm gonna be crafting with this, of course. Even look at the wings, how pretty they are. With these beautiful holographic gift bags. Look at how shiny and colorful those are. I found these little glittery butterflies and flowers. Okay, I already used this in a craft right here, but these really fun iridescent like little pom-poms. So that's why the bag is open. I already used them. Okay, this is cute. This is supposed to be like a little felt thing, but I'm gonna use these little cupcakes somewhere for something because they're adorable. You guys know how I feel about cute little foods. Okay, same thing with on this greeting card. I'm gonna cut them out and use them in my crafting. Found these beautiful alicorn stickers. These bags are so cute. We've got like a little graduating Oreo and a little toast grad. And on the tag, 
It actually says, let's toast to your success. And the Oreo says, you're one smart cookie. Okay, these are the prettiest plates in the whole entire world. I also found these Puppy and Friends Club, these little Arctic little blind bags. I had to get these, so I picked up three of these. And these are the ones that I got. I got two foxes and a little penguin. And they're flocked, so they're really fuzzy. So I like that they added that. Bonus feature, so now we're going into a quick Walmart haul. Since I'm gonna be doing this like memory bear craft from the Dollar Tree, when I was at Walmart, I found the most most beautiful fabric. This is the, from Disney. This is the Beauty and the Beast stained glass from Beast's Castle. So look at that gorgeous print. So I thought it'd be really nice to either make the tote or the bear out of this fabric. So make sure you're subscribed. Stay tuned for that. I picked up two of those. Okay, look at all of these glitter paints that I picked up. I cannot believe how stunning these are. I mean, I normally paint with nail polish, but now I have these glitterized acrylic paint and this isn't just like a little bit of glitter. So let's take this little piece of paper and let's give it a little test. So I picked up this silver holographic paint. This one's like an iridescent. This one's gold. This one's like a rose gold pink. This one's a black glitter. And this last paint that I picked up actually says color shifting top coat. So it's supposed to color change from red to violet to blue. Give it a little poke there. Oh, look at how much glitter's on that. All right, and I'm just gonna wipe it on a piece of paper and I cannot believe how thick this glitter is. Actually, I think this is better than nail polish. I mean, look inside of that container. It's extremely glittery. Stick my paintbrush in there and paint. It's gonna be so fun to paint with. Look at that. Oh, it's gonna be perfect. All right, let's open up the black paint. There we go. Ooh, a little bit on my brush and paint. Okay, so this does not have a black base. All right, I have to try out the color shifter. Okay, just kind of picking it open, you can see it's actually kind of white. So it's not dark. I mean, it did say it was a top coat, but we'll just use, wait, what is that? Oh, what's going on with that? Wait, did it, oh, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> There we go. So there's um, a little bit of the seal still on it. So I just have to puncture that. There we go, peel that back. And right on my paper. Yeah, so it is a top coat. So I will have to paint a darker base so you can actually see the color shift a lot better. So we will be back to check these out again. But you can see a little bit of that color change. You can see how purple and blue it looks right on the bottle. I also picked up some iridescent glitter glue and two of these confetti glitter tubes, one with hearts and this one has little iridescent unicorns. So I definitely have a craft project in mind for these. Stay tuned. And of course, I had to go and check out what was new in the doll section at Walmart. I found two dolls that I'm adding into my collection that were on clearance. I always like to find dolls that are this size because I feel like they don't really make them. Same thing with this skipper size. And then this is like a snowboard Barbie. Dreamtopia is one of my favorite lines from Barbie. She has a very unique face. Same thing with the mermaid. I don't have a doll like that at all in my collection. Found this little chef outfit, a little Barbie extra mini doll. As you can see on my shelf, I still have some that I haven't opened yet. And I also found the Barbie extra fancy and she is extra beautiful. So happy to have her in my collection. Too. And last thing I found, <laughs> hello Chica, the Liberty Chica. So I love collecting the Five Nights figures too. And look at Cupcake. <laughs> All right, so make sure you're subscribed because I will be doing a craft video with these patterns. I hope you enjoyed this haul video. Love seeing what's new. Keep being you, which is super unique. There's no one on this planet just like you, so always be you. I'm sending you a big hug and I'll see you in my next video. Bye you guys. See you in the craft video. Ooh.